open the Elden Ring map and right south of Callum Ruins, if we go down south here, next to the telescope, there is a uh, save point. And as you can see, there's this kind of wall uh, of like weird lava right along here. We're gonna follow that. And then right around this area is going to be a hidden cave down in this tunnel ravine. It's really, really well hidden, but you really can't miss this with this gigantic glowing wall. Just follow this path right to where I have marked on the map. And then you will see this hidden cave placed oh so perfectly I would definitely recommend trying to use a horse because I did this the first time and I died like an idiot. Uh, so just sprint, jump, double jump, tap, and voila, you're right here. This is the abandoned cave. Now in this abandoned cave, there is an end boss, which gives you 20% rune boosts. Uh, I would highly recommend using, if you have incantations, I'd recommend using the flame cleanse me. Now, as we head into the tunnel, we're going to discover a save point, but most of all, you're going to see exploding kind of like gas chambers of rot. Now, the thing about rot uh, is it stacks pretty fast and does a lot of damage compared to poison. Um, but when you drop down here, make sure that you do not roll. Do not roll in rot or sprint in rot. It actually increases the build up and it goes significantly faster if you roll because it gets your whole body covered in this rotty substance now what i'm using here is the o flame incantation which automatically negates rot and poison build up if you have this if you're playing a sorcerer or in my case a prophet um, i highly suggest this incantation as it's really helpful fighting against poison enemies or enemies that have rot build up um, because quite frankly, this stuff really screws with your character really, really bad, especially because the boss also, um, gives a bunch of rot and it's just very helpful to have, um, to instantly take away that debuff because it just does a lot of damage very quickly. Now try to avoid the rot as best you can. Just do this little jump, follow this path that I'm doing right here. It's fairly straightforward. Um, the boss I did have a few trouble with a few times fighting the first time, but instantly when you get here, just go instantly to the right drop down there's an enemy just ignore him just run down this tunnel uh and don't be an idiot like me and die to rats because you know i'm just so good at the game that even at a level 100 uh ignore this dude just run by him be like me and try to fight rats in a small confined area and then you die to rats Once you're in this part of the cave, instantly go deep right. Ignore all these guys, because they're just going to fuck you up really quickly. Ignore, ignore, ignore. At this point, make sure that you have the Flame Cleanse Me incantation, because you're going to need it during this fight if you are lower level. I happen to be level 97 right now, so this shouldn't be too difficult to fight these guys in here, though I did die the first few times. Um... I would highly recommend doing a summons. I'm personally using the Demi-Human Ashes, as it seems like the more targets that there are, the easier it is for um, the AI, the NPCs, to attack multiple targets. So any summons you have with multiple uh, spirits I was is highly suggestible, just because it makes this a lot easier. I got creamed pretty hard the first few times I fought these guys, so just watch how I do it, and it's not that hard at all. You're also going to be having a secondary guy spawn, um, which if you're doing this solo with no summons is really, really chaotic. I died about five times here already before I realized I need to summon sp uh, my spirits to help me with this. And then it was pretty straightforward. And voila, folks, there you have it. This is how you get the sacred beetle, or the gold scarab, excuse me. I don't know why I kept saying sacred. Um, but yeah, 